Hi folks, Sonia Ash here from Ash Design. Today I want to teach you how to use our yearbook ads in our online editor. You'll see here in our Etsy shop we've got a variety of templates. Um, we do mostly sell Photoshop templates and that will be noted in the item um, descriptions in the title. But we also have some online editable templates that don't require Photoshop and those will be noted by these um, blue edit online instant download print today graphics. They're blue and they're red. Um, so let's go ahead and click on our do-it-yourself printable seniors. This will show you all of the do-it-yourself online ads that can be um, edited in your browser. So um, let's look at this one today. We'll go ahead and edit. I just want to show you that there are full page options, half page and quarter page options. So once you make a purchase, you will receive a link um, to open up a cordial account where you will be able then to edit your yearbook ad. So I've already gone ahead and clicked on it um, over here. I'll click on it again just to show you this is where your yearbook ads will be. You'll choose the size that you want to edit. In this case, we're going to edit the half page ad. So you're given um, four photos in this particular one and some text to edit. So it's really quite simple. Uh, you click on a photo and you can see over here it will choose the photo that you're replacing. You just simply replace the image and then navigate to where your photos are and let's go ahead and we'll replace it with this image. And you'll just hit save and what's that? what that's going to do is it's going to replace the image um, right in the template here for you. Um, and then what you can do while it is still selected, you can see that it's selected because you sort of have this, this box around it. You can move it around inside this little photo area. Um, that one actually fits pretty well, so I'm not even going to resize it at all. So let's try adding another one then. We'll click on our next photo, and again, we'll just replace the image. We'll go ahead and navigate to the image we want to replace it with and click save. In the process, again, it's the same for all of them. So the photo comes in. Um, you can see that this one actually has to be sized somewhat and it also has to be rotated. Um, first off, I would rotate this. So you'll notice um, the editing area around this image. There is a little dot up top and you see how your cursor changes to a um, rotation arrow. Just click on that and rotate your image so that it fits the box and then we're going to scale this so it fits in the box. Um, one thing I'm going to say about scaling images is you want to crop them rather than distort them. By cropping them uh, you're going to gra grab any one of these four corners okay and that will enlarge your image but it will crop it to fit the box. What you don't want to do is grab any one of these middle um, knobs here and make it fit the box because then you're going to have either short and fat seniors or tall and skinny seniors. That we absolutely do not want to do. So I would say to you, never touch these middle um, knobs here. Always grab your corners. And of course, now I've gone ahead and distorted this one but we're going to go ahead and we're just going to fit that in there. We're going to make believe we just never touched those four corners, but I thought it was very important to just mention that to you. You're always better off to crop rather than to squeeze it into the box. Okay, so then let's go on to the next one. And again, we'll just go ahead, we'll replace that image. Uh, let's see, maybe it was this one. Yeah, I think that'll fit in there nicely. And again, this one is also going to need to be rotated. So we're going to grab that rotation knob up top. We're just going to fit it in there. And then we can move her into place. Um, I might bring her down just a little bit. So again, I'm going to grab a corner. And we just have to size her up just a little, just to fit her right in that box. That looks pretty good. And then we'll go ahead and we'll do our last image over here. Replace image.
Okay, and we'll get her fitting right in there. All right, I think that looks pretty good right there. Um, so one more thing I want to talk about with these photos. You might decide that you like this with four photos. You might decide, you know what, I'd really like to increase this text and maybe get rid of some photos. You can do that. So let's head over here to the right hand side of our screen and let's open up our layer palette. Your layer palette here is basically going to show you all the layers in this ad. Now I, you can see I've selected this photo and it is photo one in our photo template. That photo is also connected to the shape behind it, which is actually giving it that shape. And we'll also name that the same. So we've got a photo, but we also have a photo shape behind it. So if we wanted to remove these from our template, we could easily do that. We could just click on the trash can. And then if we go to photo one, we can click on the trash can. And now you've got three photos in, in this area. Let's say you want to uh, maybe move these around. You can also do that. So click on the photo that you want to move, and you'll see that it comes up as photo two in your layer palette. Hold down your control or your command key and click on the photo layer that goes with it that's actually giving it its shape, photo two. It's usually right behind it. It's always going to be right under this arrow. And then you can move these around anywhere you'd like. Um, it is going to catch up. Once, the photo is going to catch up to that photo layer once you move it. So don't worry about that too much. But you can see how you can sort of move that around. We could, um, again, not distorting, grabbing any one of these corners. We could make it a little smaller if we choose. We could straighten that out by grabbing the rotation arrow and just sort of straightening it out in our yearbook ad. You can play around with that any way you'd like. Um, and that's how you can sort of move this around and sort of make it your own sort of design. And then if we want to go ahead and edit our text, um, this very simple, you just click on your text. It'll come up over here in your text box. Just highlight that text and type right over it. All right, and then if we also want to grab this, change the year, you can do that. Maybe you want to rotate this text. There's a rotation tech tool here. You can go ahead and you can rotate that anywhere you'd like. Maybe you want to change that text. Um, you can move it around in your palette here, of course. Uh, maybe you want to change the color. You can just click on the color picker over here. Uh, maybe we want to pick something up from her her shirt here. Um, I think that works kind of nicely. Now, the text also can be styled, and you will see that underneath the text editor. I'm going to close up this layer palette because this can get a little confusing. So if we wanted to style our text, we can scroll down, and we can see that this opacity is set here at 75. You can bring it up to 100 if you would like. You can add drop shadows if you prefer. You can make the blur a little bit more. You can tighten up the distance. You can make the distance a little further. It's entirely up to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close up that style editor. Um, you'll notice here that this, this 2020 is actually it's sitting behind the name. I'm going to go ahead and open up the layer palette again. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 2020 on top of the name so that it's not um, distorted. I'm sorry, not distorted, but not um, it's not going underneath the text anymore. So that's sort of how you can um, edit the text somewhat. Let's say you wanted to um, edit this text down here, and I, I think most parents are going to want to go ahead and do that. You can go ahead and uh, just highlight this box type anything you would like in there. And then um, if you want, you can move the text around. You can size it up. So if you grab any one of the four corners, text is a little bit different. If you grab any one of the four corners, it's going to make your text larger. If you grab the sides here, it's actually going to, it's not going to distort your text, but it's going to sort of tighten up that text box. And then we can sort of drag it up here 
we can make it a little bigger. We can bring it in a little further because maybe we want to, you know, add more text in there, or maybe we just want to move around some of the text that we, some of the other text we have. Maybe we want love mom and dad to be in a different font. So we have provided you with a couple of fonts for this template. And then maybe we'll put that on a second um, line there. You can stretch it out somewhat. So this is entirely um, editable. You are free to um, really make any edits that you like with this. Now I'm just sort of, you know, messing around with this a little just to sort of show you what you can do. Um, I actually think that looks terrible, but it really gives you an idea. You could, uh, you know, maybe put that on a rotation. But there's there's a lot of editing capabilities here. Um, so this is just to show you how you can edit these yearbook ads and what you have available to you. Once you are done, you'll go ahead and you'll save your changes. And then that's going to give you the option to download. Now, uh, most places will ask for a JPEG, um, and that's the only option that you're given here. Uh, then you'll go to your next option. Now, if you're um, asked for, you know, bleed or trim marks, you can go ahead and click those off. Um, most times people are not, but just know that it's there for you. So we'll go ahead. There's only one page to this, and now you're able to download this as a JPEG. And what I would suggest before you send this off to your yearbook ad, uh, to your yearbook company, I would suggest that you print this out on your home printer to make sure that your text isn't too small um, and that everything is, is legible. Okay, that's it. Enjoy designing.